My birthday was yesterday. <gasps> Happy late birthday to you, Ashley. Why was it a nightmare? I allowed my family's comments and opinions to control my mood. Shouldn't have, but it really struck me. Oh no, that's terrible. They were like saying these things to you on your special day, on your birthday? Yes, my birthday. I attended earlier this year and they're too ignorant to see the deeper issues. Funny how if I succeeded, it would have been devastating, but surviving means you're crazy. I am so sorry that you had to deal with that, especially from your family. And I know it hurts even more when it's your family. I mean, it stings. And I don't know if you're getting help, but if you are, that's amazing. I think continue to do what you're doing. I think you should definitely seek help since you know that there are deeper issues. And, and sometimes the only way to getting people to see these things is just by living your life and doing better, you know what I mean? And, and eventually they will see. A lot of family members don't understand that there's deeper issues and they just wanna cover it up by saying, oh, she's just being a teen or she's just doing this or he's doing that or they're doing this. I know it takes a toll, I know. I know it must freaking suck, it must hurt. It's terrible, it doesn't help with what you're feeling. In times like this is where you should really surround yourself with people who really support you and accept you and love you and understand that there's <laughs> that you're going through. Whether that's online or somebody who is you know, certified to give you advice and help you through these things, or friends in real life or family members, you know what I mean? I really think it's a huge thing to, to really try your best to get away from people who are so toxic in your life. For your family to do that to you on your birthday that's up. Me saying this, you know, may make you feel worse, but I don't, I'm not trying to make you feel worse. I just want you to see the reality. And yeah, maybe getting away is not an option, but there's always something that you can do to help yourself help yourself. You get what I'm saying? For example, let's, I don't know if you're doing any of this or not, but just for an example, let's say you're home most of the day. What about getting a job? Go out and get a job where you can you can mentally focus on something else and I have to be dealing with that. For example, my sister always tells a story about when she was young and like she was a crazy kid. When she was in school, she joined extracurricular activities like cheer and all this other stuff and got a job as soon as she could to be away from home where she was always constantly getting in trouble and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like my dad was very strict and he was always, you know, getting on her nerves. Cause she, you're young at that age, you know what I mean? Her thing was, I just want to be out. I want to be out where I'm not at home. And so she did things that, that she wanted to do. Like she loved doing cheer. She loved working. She's always had that independency to her. To her. And so she, her thing was to go out and go do things to keep her away from being home and spending less time at home and doing her own thing, you know what I mean? And that was what worked for her. You gotta find what works for you. You've got to really, really see what it is that makes you feel better and do more of those things. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's gonna take figuring out one, two, three, four different things and maybe those things don't work or maybe they work for a little bit and then after a while it stops. Well, go find more things that make you happy, you know what I mean? It's good. If you're getting help, that's amazing. That's where you need to start, in my opinion. I think a therapist or a counselor or whatever it is that's gonna help you and give you the tools that that they believe fit well with you to be able to help you with that, I think it's what it is. You, you just have to really eliminate the problems that are really messing with you. And I think so many of us don't do that because we feel so bad because it's our blood or it's our family or it's our friends. But if it's really causing us to feel like it's not good for our lives. And if we want to get better, we have to really go to the extent and get rid of those things. You know what I mean? It's sad, but it's true. And so many of us don't do it and we end up being miserable. And of course, they're not gonna understand because they don't think like you or they don't know. They're not in your body. They're not feeling these things. They're not going through what you're going through. And to an extent, we can't blame them because they don't understand, but we can easily do things that we need to do for ourselves because we know we need them. You know what I mean? They're really, really harming you more and it's sad. It's sad that these, you know, your family is supposed to be there for you and help you through these things. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It just makes me so sad to see this. But I want you to know that you are fully capable and able to. You you got the right mindset. You're getting help. You're you're trying, and that's what's most important. That you're actually trying. You know what I mean? Keep trying. Keep going. I'm here for you. You have people that support you. I'm here cheering you on. Keep going. Keep doing what you gotta do. You're doing great. You're doing what you can. And trust. Just trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe that you're gonna get through whatever they diagnosed you with. You know the truth. You know what's real. If they don't want to believe it so be it. Let them harm their own mental health by constantly trying to be in denial. I know it takes a toll on you, but listen, remember that you are in control. You're in control of everything and anything that, that you let or not let into your mind. You're in control of the way you feel, your emotions, of how you deal with things, you know?